It is undeniable their efforts have been made to build a new Haiti. The reconstruction of the country devastated by the earthquake in 2010 is tangible in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Streets have been paved, new schools open the doors, and houses now occupy the space where once 10 million cubic meters of rubble laid, an amount sufficient to fill 4,000 Olympic swimming pools. At the time of the earthquake, which took place on the 12th of January in 2010, the mission was increased and the capacity of the mission was increased given the extent of the devastation in Haiti and given the effect that this devastation had on not only the capacity of the government to respond to it but the capacity of all of the institutions was severely tested. Um, one third of the public servants, for instance, in who were serving the government had died and there was, as is to be expected and as uh, has been seen, there was a great deal of pressure put on services such as the health services. A symbol of this new area, Place Boyer is now a leisure center for Haitians, where people of all ages count with public lighting, sports facilities, and participate in civic events. Occupied by tents for internally displaced families until 2013, this square also serves as a place for learning. Out of the 1.5 million displaced after the earthquake, only 80,000 remain camps, less than 1% of the population. Many, however, will move after January, thanks to a program led by the government and the International Organization for Migration, which ensures a one-year rent subsidy for the displaced families. The government is also considering transforming several temporary settlements in proper neighborhoods, providing basic service and infrastructure to improve the quality of life for these Haitians. We're now five years after the earthquake and uh, there is still quite a sizable population uh, in the camps. We have 79,000 people in the camps, uh, 105 different camps, mostly scattered throughout Port-au-Prince, uh, and a little bit outside towards the epicenter, which was Leogam. Obviously, it's, it's unacceptable to still have more people in camps, but when you look at the starting point, which was 1.5 million uh, in July 2010 when we did the first registration, and we look at the, the decrease in 94% since then, I think it's a really good result. Uh, right after the earthquake, people went to the provinces, some people went over to the Dominican Republic, there were humanitarian visas that were issued by Brazil, um, but also other countries like the U.S. Um, and then a lot of people just came back, seeing that a lot of the humanitarian aid was being concentrated in Paul Plus. So it really acted as a magnet, and I think this is one of the lessons learned as well for us, is that you know we should have tried to decentralize a little bit better the aid, because in the end, you, you on, a country, on, a, on a city which was already not easy to, to go through because of the rubble, the destruction, etc., we compounded the problem by, by attracting too many people into the uh, Interpol Plus. With the land scarcity and lack of title deeds, the country needs to find new ways to provide housing for Haitians. To this end, the government is working with local people to change perceptions on issues related to ownership and to promote the verticalization of the capital. Haiti, instead of being densified, where you put more people per square meter, Haiti is massified. So we, everybody wants to have a land, everybody wants to have a yard, nobody has money, very complicated situation. So this is an example where we show that you can build in Haiti situation safely. There's mitigation work to be done and there's construction codes to be respected and this is exactly what you're seeing here. With the government and three other agencies, we started this program called the 16-6. We worked a lot on the underlying issues that are uh, making housing such a big issue in Haiti. For example, land tenure. There's a lot of issues in, in regards to land tenure. The law is very weak. No one knows who the land belongs to. So these are the, some of the aspects that we worked on. Also, for, for example, the site that we're here, that we're at, we're finishing one of the first examples of uh, uh, co uh, using the co-op uh, co law, which means uh, uh, someone can be an owner even if he's living on the second or the third floor. 
the process of rebuilding the country counted with the active involvement of the military. With the mission's mandate altered after the earthquake, the troops' job goes beyond security. Nós falamos na melhoria das vias de transporte, da circulação da população. Nós falamos em construção de escolas, construção de hospitais. Nós falamos em distribuição de alimentos. Mas tudo isso faz parte, como eu disse, da segurança voltada para a conquista da estabilidade. Então, não é só segurança, não é só postura agressiva. Eu, eu considero fundamental para a integração da tropa com a população essa prestação do serviço de apoio humanitário. In the past five years, the country has been investing and empowering Haitians in preventing and reducing the risk of natural disasters. Il y a l'annonce d'un événement. Il y a des procédures pour activer le centre d'opération d'urgence nationale. Par exemple, pour le, le, les cyclones, dès qu'on est à, à la phase pré-alerte 2 et alerte 1, toutes ces entités-là savent qu'ils doivent venir au centre d'opération d'urgence. On n'est pas obligé de les appeler. Ils viennent automatiquement. Alors le défi pour nous, c'est le système de cadrage de ces volontaires. Comme le volontaria n'est pas une très grande pratique en Haïti, mis à part la Croix-Rouge et les scouts, donc euh, on essaie vraiment, le grand défi pour nous, c'est d'organiser de ce système de volontariat. Many advances have been made in less visible areas, with the technical support from Minustar and UN agencies to promote political change and the recovery of other areas devastated by the earthquake as the justice sector. Avec le tremblement de terre, l'effondrement du bâtiment du ministère de la Justice, certainement, il y a eu un, un dysfonctionnement lié à l'inexistence, l'absence d'infrastructures permettant le support de l'administration générale du ministère de la Justice ou encore du système de la justice, y compris le secteur de la, de la police et du système pénitentiaire. Avec cette modification, le PNUD a dû modifier quelque peu son appui au secteur de la justice en termes de renforcement des capacités administratives et des capacités en termes d'infrastructures. Mais du point de vue du lieu de la société civile, ce qui était avéré nécessaire après 2010, c'est de fournir un appui pour l'obtention des actes d'état civil. Avec la disparition des bâtiments et quelques 250 000 à 300 000 morts, um, il s'est avéré que la majorité de ces personnes avaient besoin d'actes de décès et également avaient besoin de nouveaux actes d'identification. Poverty remains a serious problem for the only nation in the Americas that belongs to the group of the least developed countries of the world. Once the physical reconstruction ends, the priority is in building capacity and creating decent and inclusive jobs. Just maybe to give you a few of the results that we did support specifically related to the post-earthquake period. So we, you know, we, we assisted in the removal of a little over a million cubic meters of rubble and debris. Uh, we helped over 10,000 families move from the, the tents to into, back into their original communities. Uh, we, we were supporting um, over uh, the, the repairs of over 900 houses. So we were very much involved in, in all of these issues. And the, the additional part that uh, UNDP brought to this was the community involvement. We worked with uh, communities in the nine different communities that we worked in. Uh, we assisted them to, to have a, what we call a community platform where they voted in their own members and these members were representing the community, uh, the population, local population in the community and they were the ones making the decisions. Not UNDP, not another UN organization, but they were making the decisions on their own lives. Since the earthquake, UNDP has involved, been involved in over 400,000 temporary jobs. And this, this can make the difference for people from having nothing to at least having something to tie them over until the, the, uh, the emergency uh, has moved on. The whole infrastructure is being implemented gradually, but the urgency of Haiti also lies in the political stabilization of the country. The government in this moment is converted into a facilitator. There are many actors involved. One is the government, the other is the society civil y los partidos políticos. Cuando se, cuando se haga el llamado a las elecciones, esperamos que ya el gobierno haya, digamos, 
consultado a todas estas, todos estos actores, todas estas eh, instancias implicadas y que juntos vayan hacia la elección. No, no es un esfuerzo eh, unilateral, es un, es un esfuerzo consensuado. Nosotros, como PNUD, trabajamos para nuestra propia desaparición, porque el objetivo es crear las capacidades en las autoridades nacionales y nosotros salir del país o eventualmente venirlos a apoyar en otras cosas. Pero en particular ese es nuestro objetivo, crear capacidades para que sean las mismas instituciones las que sigan desarrollando eh, su, sus servicios y todos los elementos que permitan a la vez el desarrollo de humano o de sus ciudadanos aquí en el país. Oh, 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 oh. Chaque jour, un pile de paroles à parler, rien pas jamais réglé. A un pile de pour pas jamais réalisé.